Dude, I said, when I get back, bro, I'm buying 10 cases of 40 bottles of water. I'm buying 10 cases, bro. And then I'm going to go back the next day and buy another 10 cases. I'm going to put them all in my garage and just have cases just, just ready, just in case some shit goes down. Just in case some shit goes down, bro. You one of those? Oh, oh yeah, I'm one of those, bro. Because I'm not going to sit here and then all of a sudden the water's gone. You want to call that selfish? I call it being smart, bro. How about you be smart? Oh, dude, are you one of those? Fuck yeah! And I'm going to buy toilet paper for no reason either. There's not even a shortage of that shit. I'm going to buy hella toilet paper at Costco. Texas can't relate. No, that's fine. I'm not even going to make fun of Texas, but all I'm going to say is that uh, they got a little snow and they didn't know what to do. And, um, you know, they were, it was like doomsday. Meanwhile, uh, on the East Coast, there's fucking snow all over the fucking place, bro. People just live their life. So, you're saying not in Texas. If you're on the East Coast, you can handle any weather in the whole world. Literally, you can. Maybe not some fucking, like, Antarctica shit, but uh, who the fuck goes to Antarctica? And also, if you live in Alaska, you're weird. So, that's all I have to say about that. Prayers in the chat, though. First of all, for Flint, Michigan, they still, their water is still fucked up. Okay? Uh, that chemical spill... In, in Ohio or Cleveland, wherever it happened, their shit's all fucked up. And now, it's gone down to Philadelphia, bro. It went to Philly. And guess what? New Jersey is right next to Philly. What the fuck is going on, dude? They're selling out water bottles in Philadelphia. They they said it was a net. It was a, it was a thing. It was like, yo, you cannot drink the water in Philadelphia. Dude, are we fucked? 